you too. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button. Just when I thought we was done, we weren't. Just when I started talking crap, we weren't done. And I should have expected this from Brad Holmes and company. Utilizing players that have no open market value, but still have value to their team. What am I talking about? Brad Holmes just brought back Craig Reynolds. Craig Reynolds. Yes, the very same Craig Reynolds that I was talking crap about, he's back with the team. Not only is he back with the team, he's actively on the active roster with the team. Now, normally, I would talk crap about this move and say it's the same old, same old. The reason we released Craig Reynolds was we released him so Julian Acquire can make the team. Now, why is that important? Julian Acquire, for some magical reason, had an injury. Wait, I don't know how. I don't know. We just found out about it now. But he had an injury. And if Brad Holmes put him on the pup list or injury reserve or whatever, he wouldn't have been available for the team for the year. So instead of being without the skill and without the uh, pass rusher, what they did was they released Craig Reynolds to keep the pass rusher. And then just two days later, what do they do? They put the pass rusher on the injured reserve list where he missed four weeks instead of missing a whole season. And then they sign the running back that they cut. Who they knew if they cut him, he wouldn't have no value to other teams. So it was more, more than likely he would come back. I feel like this was a genius move. The shuffling of the roster was a genius move. And Brad Holmes and company kind of know their guys, right? They know if their guys are going to be big values to other clubs. And they kind of hold those guys captive a little bit. I don't want to say captive, but they protect those guys. Brad Holmes doing this is just a chess move to me. It's a chess move. Here I am thinking Zonovan Knight was going to be the third running back. But not only did we get Zonovan Knight, we also got Craig Reynolds starting over him. And we still got Julian Acquire on the team. So Julian is probably going to miss the first four games. And that's fine because he was probably not going to play anyway um, in terms of like, like big time. But you see where this team is headed. So you didn't want to lose Julian Acquire by cutting him. If you cut him with all that, all that tape, five sacks, three sacks on the preseason, all that tape, he was going to get claimed. And then, you know, if he did have an injury or whatever, it just gives you more leeway. We've seen this in the past where he's done this methodically moving up and down the depth chart, switching out guys every day. Brad Holmes' work is never done. So I owe Craig Reynolds an apology, I guess. But I meant what I said. You not, bro, we're, we're leaving you in the dust. He's an effort guy. He's, he's the new Tom Kennedy to me. I want my guys to be elite. You know what I'm saying? Body snatchers. I'm talking about when they hit you, when they hit the hole, they hit your soul, you know? And I guess the, the Lions see him as that. So I can't, I can't be too mad. So Julian's out for four weeks. Wide receiver is out for six. We already know that, Jameson Williams. Uh, we got some guys on the injured reserve list. Even Hendon Hooker. I think Hendon Hooker's on NFI. So he's already on a, a list, but he's going to be activated probably at the end of the year. Oh, even more news. 
we got David Blau back as our third quarterback. Do I care? He won't play. He won't see the field. He knows the system. That's the only reason he's here. And um, I don't know what happened to Adrian Martinez. I don't know what's going on there. But I will find out more. There's probably more moves to come. Um, I just wanted to clarify for everybody. We do have Craig Reynolds back, unfortunately. And we do have David Blau back, unfortunately, the practice squad. And we're just siphoning through our practice squad. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you know. And as well, don't tell me what you're doing. This is Spirit of Detroit Podcast. Love y'all.